Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have learned about the two methods to access the DOM elements. That is nothing but get element by ID and also the get elements by class name. So now I will try to do so what uh, the two concepts what we have learned it right. So now you are aware of this one. So you can skip this video. But in this video, what I will try to, if you are new to the JavaScript and new to the DOM and you are trying to learn it, means we will try to see a <coughs> just a POC concept, something like that. So sample example we will try to do by understanding. So, how we can use these get elements by class name in a sample project or sample web sample application, we will try to see. So, here I am creating a file. So, buttons.html. I am creating buttons.html and here so here i am taking the html just template wireframe so this is the html wireframe so now what i will try to do here so let's uh, try to uh, make it half of so i have made it half of so here we will try to see it so here i am writing h1 so buttons example or something like this i am trying to do it simple example let's try to open this one in a live server i am opening this one in a live server let's see it will open here in the live server yeah it has opened here buttons example we have seen it right so now what i will do is so here let's create a sample buttons so be with me <clears throat> so button and here click on clicking on this one so click to change to green color so this one by upon clicking on this button so that button will change to green color so we got one button and here i am taking another button so this one will change to red color and another one is blue color it will change it to blue color and the last what i will try to do is <coughs> undo so here i will take another so click to undo all the colors undo all the colors that's it so here we are having four buttons on which so when clicking on this button so when we click on this button this button this button will be changed to green color when we click on this button this one will change it to red color when we click on this button it will change to blue color when i click on this button all the buttons will go back to the normal position so here let's design some of the things uh, these uh, what i can say these buttons so here i will be adding the style so first body I will be taking for the body I will do text align center so let's make it center these are all the things yeah it is center so for the button for the button what I want to do here I will give width 500 pixel okay and here what I can do so let's make it as 400 pixel or something like this okay so 400 pixel and here background color so by the background color for this one is black sorry black and uh, another one is the color of the text will be white and the padding will be 1 em and and the last one is the margin so margin 0 0.5 em comma 0 so that's it so these are the buttons when i click on this button if you want you can also make it as cursor pointer so it, you will be get a pointer here so here hand symbol we will be able to see it so now we got the thing when i click on this button it should change to green color so what can i do here so we can write a functions in a such a way that on click so this one we i will be writing a function green and this one on click i will change it to red so these are the methods i am taking on click blue and the last one is on click on click is equal to undo the green red blue and undo done green red blue and undo now what i want to do is so here this one is all finished when i click on this one this one is working <clears throat> now let's go on to the script tag so here i am taking the script this is the script what i will do here this is the function green 
So here I am writing the function green. So let's implement all the functions. Function red. Function blue. Sorry. Function blue. Function undo. So these are the functions we are having. So these are the functions we are having. Fine, right? Now let's see. So green color we are having. And what I want to do is so upon clicking on this green bar color, so this function has to execute. And I need to catch this button. I need to change the button color to green color. So what can I do here? So let's take the class. So here I am taking class green. So now here document dot get elements by class name. I can take get elements by class name. Get elements by class name of green. So here you will be getting the HTML collection, right? So in this I am taking first element dot style dot background color is equal to green. So I am changing it to green. That's it. Finish. When I click on this one, see it has changed it to green color. Now in the same scenario here also for these buttons, I will add a class red and also here I will add a class. Sorry for this one, right? Class blue. So these are all the classes so the same thing what i can do is i can copy this one and i can paste it here so this time i need to take the red and this should change it to red color and the same thing here also i will copy it so this time this should change to blue and here also this should change to blue finish now if i try to click on this one green color red color and blue color we are able to see this one now what i want to do is when I click on this undo, all these colors will return, we should return back to the black color. So that is the main thing you need to understand. So what can I do here is, so green color, here I can take these all buttons. Now I will take this undo, I can write here undo, <coughs> I am taking a new class, here also undo and here also undo. Okay, I am taking a class, so now here, let's see. I am doing console.log document dot get elements by class name of undo. I am taking off undo. That's it. Now if you try to see the inspect element. Now if you try to see the inspect element. So just I am trying to show you the inspect element. Here in the console. When I click on this button. See we are able to get an HTML collection. So that the HTML collection is one two three three buttons we are able to get it by because these three buttons are having a class of undo and we are able to see another new property which is given by the browser itself the length is three and we are having some methods which are related to the uh, html collection that is nothing but item okay and here length like this we are having so now what can i do here so let's take here let buttons is equal to document dot get elements get elements by class name of undo so we got all the buttons let's do the for loop we have learned it right for let i is equal to zero i less than buttons dot length and i plus plus and here what i can do doc uh, sorry buttons of i dot style dot background color should change to black that's it finish now if i try to click on this one green red and blue and now if i click here see everything has been changed to black color so this is how we can change the dom structure like this so here we have created three buttons and we have made use of this get elements by class name and we have written the script so this is the code. So this is a sample code which I want to demonstrate you how we can use this, how we can access the DOM elements in the HTML. Hope you understood about this one. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.